From an art heist gone horribly wrong to the most messed up body horror nightmare in years, these are the best thrillers you already missed this year. Gerard Butler's action thriller Plane got buried early in 2023 due to little marketing and no momentum heading into its January release. That's a shame because it's honestly one of the actors' best. This action-packed adventure follows pilot Brody Torrance as he's forced to crash land a plane onto a remote island, where his passengers are taken hostage by a local rebel faction. With the help of one of his writers, a former soldier accused of murder, Brody must rescue his passengers and help them get off the island. And I'm telling you that the way home is on this plane. I've got you this far. I just need you to trust me this one more bit. Plane features one of the most harrowing crash landing sequences you'll see in a movie, and it perfectly sets the tone for the incredibly tense fights that follow. All the great suspense and strong chemistry between Butler and actor Mike Coulter help lead the film to an undeniably epic firefight finale. Sure, Butler's action thriller flicks have been a little one-note in the past, but despite the simple title, Plane is far from generic, providing viewers with the kind of thrill ride the audiences are always searching for. Anyone that's seen director Brandon Cronenberg's previous films Antiviral and Possessor know that he's a modern master of sickeningly twisted thrills. Much like his father David, the younger Cronenberg's latest project, Infinity Pool, takes viewers on a luxury vacation that takes a sinister turn. Struggling writer James, played by Alexander Skarsgård, gets the death penalty when he accidentally kills a man with his car. He's given a bizarre proposition, though, for a fee. James will be cloned, and the clone will be executed in his place. It's a choice that continues to haunt him as he descends into a depraved criminal underworld that pushes him to his limits. With Infinity Pool, Cronenberg once again manages to elicit plenty of icks from the audience. There are moments that'll leave viewers tense and disturbed, especially when Mia Goth's performance and that signature Cronenberg body horror are involved. Infinity Pool may have slipped past wider audiences, but that doesn't mean that its incredible crime thrills and gripping horror should be ignored. Maybe think of it as a gift. Back in 2018, Sony Screen Gems delivered a breakout hit with Searching, in which John Cho gives an unforgettably gripping performance through some stellar webcam thrills and a twisty mystery. It's possible many fans of the first film don't know that an equally great sequel hit theaters in 2023, largely because it's called Missing rather than Searching 2, and it was buried by January release. Like Searching, Missing utilizes its web-based premise and smart ways as young June uncovers disturbing truths about her family after her mother disappears. Missing is an unbelievable thrill ride that's guaranteed to leave viewers shocked by its unexpected turns and wild twists. Storm Reed's lead performance perfectly leads audiences through all the chilling discoveries June makes, keeping viewers hooked right up until the supremely tense and explosive finale. Given how popular Searching was when it hit, it's baffling that Missing was just thrown under the rug by Sony. That doesn't mean that this is a movie worth forgetting about, though. Far from it. Whether he's playing a lighthouse keeper, the Green Goblin, or Jesus Christ himself, Willem Dafoe never fails to turn in a standout performance, and that definitely applies for 2023's Inside. Still, fans of the actor may have missed the heist turned survival flick that stars Dafoe alongside pretty much no one else. Defoe flies solo as Nemo, an art thief whose latest job goes terribly wrong after security system malfunction leaves him trapped inside a luxury apartment. While a penthouse suite might not seem like such a terrible place to get stuck, it quickly becomes a living hell. His escape options are severely limited, and the security system constantly fluctuates the apartment's temperature between sweltering heat and frigid cold. As Nemo's situation continues to grow dire, his sanity starts to slip, and that's when Defoe's performance truly captivates. Inside provides some good survival thrills and inventive moments that'll get viewers hooked from the start, but it's Defoe's one-man show that'll really leave an impact. Nemo's slow descent into madness and disjointed reality makes for a harrowing watch, one that will keep you guessing up until the very end. Inside got completely overshadowed by Shazam! Fury of the Gods when it hit theaters, but that doesn't mean that audiences should miss out on its uniquely intriguing premise and performance. Not every thriller needs to provide painful moments or chilling turns to be a highly engaging ride, and Guy Ritchie's criminally underseen Operation Fortune Ruse de Guerre is proof. This star-studded adventure follows a team of spies as they recruit a movie star in an effort to stop an evil billionaire arms dealer. 
Operation Fortune is essentially Richie's take on a James Bond spy adventure, and it makes for a hilariously fun time. Richie's signature style of comedy works perfectly in creating some very funny and engaging moments from the highly talented cast, which includes Jason Statham, Aubrey Plaza, Josh Hartnett, Hugh Grant, and Carrie Elwes. The action is fast and fierce, and there's no shortage of wild gunfights and thrilling chases. Based on the film's poor box office performance, Operation Fortune clearly wasn't on a lot of radars when it hit theaters, but better late than ever when it comes to watching this highly entertaining romp. Since the pandemic delayed the release of Operation Fortune, two Guy Ritchie films ended up coming out in the first half of 2023. The second one was The Covenant which made it to theaters in the US just a month and a half after the director's previous effort. And while it's also a quality watch, it couldn't be more different in tone. The Covenant is set during the war in Afghanistan and stars Jake Gyllenhaal and Dara Saleem. Sergeant John Kinley and his Afghan interpreter Ahmed help innocent people survive against the Taliban's growing shadow. But when Ahmed's family becomes threatened, Kinley must take matters into his own hands. Along with Gyllenhaal and Salim delivering great performances, Richie helms some incredibly suspenseful firefights that are bound to leave viewers hanging on the edge of their seats throughout all of the close calls and unsettling suspense. The entire last act is a true fight for survival, which makes for a very satisfying and cathartic conclusion. The Covenant arguably got overshadowed by the breakout success of Evil Dead Rise, but that simply means that Richie has a killer double feature full of amazing lesser-known thrills waiting for people to experience. When it first debuted, critics praised Daniel Goldhaber's activist thriller How to Blow Up a Pipeline for its solid script and impressive ensemble cast. Despite its instantly compelling title though, the reverse heist flick didn't gain much popularity in mainstream circles. Inspired by author Andreas Malm's 2021 book of the same name, How to Blow Up a Pipeline follows eight young people as they plot to destroy oil infrastructure in West Texas. The film's environmentalist message and philosophical conundrums are front and center. After all, our heroes never quite decide whether what they're doing counts as terrorism or not. American Empire calls us terrorists and we're doing something right. From a narrative perspective, the movie's most significant achievement is its ability to get viewers invested in the individual stories of all eight members over its 100-minute runtime. Things only become more nerve-shredding as the group goes deeper into crafting their plan. The stakes ratchet up and things start to go horribly wrong. How to Blow Up a Pipeline is full of shockingly explosive moments and gripping turns that'll leave viewers stunned. It's no surprise that an international thriller on Netflix can end up being overlooked. With so much content on the service, it's easy for something to get lost in the shuffle. Of course, that doesn't mean that subscribers should miss out on Kill Bok Soon, an incredibly fun South Korean thriller. Gil Bok Soon is both an assassin and a single mom, whose life and flawless success rate on the job are put into jeopardy when she finds herself in a kill or be killed conflict. Director Sung Young Byun shows some great prowess in crafting thrilling and engaging action sequences that aren't afraid to spill some blood, keeping viewers hooked on every punch and slash. Whether it's through brutal hand-to-hand -hand combat or with a variety of weapons, the titular assassin absolutely makes her mark on her foes and the audience in the process. Kill Bok Soon features a great cast of characters with distinct personalities in a slow-growing conflict that boils over into a shocking finale. It's a shame that great movies like Kill Bok Soon can easily be missed, so you should definitely add it to your watch list. Since it was also dropped onto Netflix without much fanfare, fans of the BBC One show Luther might not realize that a film continuation called The Fallen Sun hit the streaming service in early March. The film sees Idris Elba reprise his role as disgraced detective John Luther as he tries to right the wrongs of his past and capture the serial killer who continues to haunt him. Elba returning to this role will definitely feel satisfying for fans, but the movie is also an excellent gateway for newcomers to learn about one of the actor's most iconic roles. The Fallen Sun is a very solid serial killer hunt with twists and turns that'll keep you guessing at how things will end. If Idris Elba wasn't enough of a draw, The Fallen Sun also features great supporting performances from Andy Serkis and Cynthia Oriva. There's really a moment to catch your breath and you never truly know when things are about to get brutal. Whether you're a longtime Luther fan or someone looking to get a taste for what it's all about, The Fallen Sun is a thriller worth checking out.